Dr. Faustus as a tragic hero. Christopher Marlowe's play Dr. Faustus presents a classic example of a tragic hero through its protagonist, Dr. Faustus. A tragic hero is typically a character of noble stature who possesses a tragic flaw, leading to their downfall. Faustus, a highly intelligent scholar, embodies these qualities, making his story both compelling and tragic. Noble Status and Ambition Dr. Faustus is introduced as a brilliant and ambitious scholar, respected for his knowledge in various fields, including medicine, law, and theology. However, his insatiable desire for more power and knowledge pushes him beyond the limits of human capability. Faustus longs to gain godlike powers, believing that through magic, he can achieve greatness. This ambition sets the stage for his tragic downfall. Tragic Flaw – Hubris Faustus's primary flaw is his hubris, or excessive pride. He believes he can control the forces of evil without facing the consequences. In a pivotal moment, he declares, a greater subject fitteth Faustus' wit. This statement reveals his arrogance and belief that he can transcend human limitations. His choice to sell his soul to the devil for 24 years of power illustrates his tragic decision-making. Faustus believes he can outsmart fate, but this ultimately leads to his demise. Love for women and hate for people Faustus's complex relationship with women adds another layer to his character. He expresses a fleeting affection for the character of Helen of Troy, famously stating, is this the face that launched a thousand ships? His admiration for her beauty symbolizes his yearning for earthly pleasures and fulfillment. However, this attraction is superficial and ultimately unfulfilling. In contrast, Faustus exhibits disdain for humanity. He often looks down on people, viewing them as inferior and unworthy of his attention. His interactions with others are marked by arrogance, as he believes that his pursuit of knowledge places him above the common man. This combination of love for unattainable beauty and contempt for those around him reveals Faustus's inner conflict. He seeks connection but remains isolated due to his pride and disdain. The Pact with Lucifer Faustus makes a pact with Lucifer, trading his soul for knowledge and power. This act signifies his moral decline and the abandonment of his humanity. He is warned multiple times by the good angel and the old man, who urge him to repent, but his pride blinds him to the truth. He famously states, What is the life of man if it be not the life of a god? This quote encapsulates his tragic desire for divinity and highlights his misplaced values. Isolation and Regret as the play progresses, Faustus becomes increasingly isolated. His desires lead him to alienate friends and scholars, and he ultimately finds himself alone with his regret. In the final moments, he recognizes the gravity of his choices, exclaiming, My God, my God, look not so fierce on me. This plea showcases his desperation and realization of the eternal consequences of his actions. Conclusion Dr. Faustus exemplifies the tragic hero archetype through his noble aspirations, tragic flaw, and eventual downfall. His love for the unattainable and his hatred for humanity illustrate the complexities of his character, revealing the inner turmoil that drives him. His story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of ambition and pride. Faustus's journey from a respected scholar to a damaged soul highlights the consequences of overreaching and the importance of humility. Through his tragic fate, Marlowe warns audiences of the perils of seeking knowledge without understanding the moral implications. The play remains a powerful exploration of human ambition and the inherent limitations of humanity.